What the heck are we doing here, Lanny? Wow. We got this old fireplace that's actually a stereo, and there's a mouse living in it. So I'm cleaning that out so we can maybe listen to some records or something. I don't know. We'll check it out. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot cleaner than it was. But you can see there's like mouse piss all over the place, so... We're just cleaning it up, and yeah, we'll take you through that. And maybe we'll play some records or something. And as you can see, he had like quite the friggin' stash. Uh, <laughs> quite... I don't know, I really gotta figure out how to pull this whole thing out of there, I think. Cause like, it's full back there. Every time I move it, I just... <laughs> push more back. Alright, so we pulled the back off. Had to stop and cook supper quick, but... As you can see... It is a little full. And by a little, I mean a whole lot. So I did finally get this off of here. Uh, I had to lift it on this side and then pull. And then yeah, it came. I noticed there wasn't, because there's a board on this side, there isn't a board on that side. So, yeah. So now I gotta pull out again. So we can unplug it. It says, uh, it's only one time. Pull out the plug. <laughs> yeah. Do not defeat the purpose of this interlock before removing back panel disconnect power. <laughs> so, we did it. I need to take this off again too though. I had to unplug the HDMI as well because it was like almost bending that so. Sorry, we'll get all this cleaned up. Alright, I'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> I'm just gonna rip this up. And beat my cat. Cause he's Troy! Yeah, as you can see, there's still a lot of, a lot of seeds and stuff too, that I gotta get to. Alright, so you can just smell it. Definitely some chewing on the wire. Um, still haven't figured out what wire that is though. Oh, it is that one. Okay. Yeah, so these are... Oops. These are like the component wires. I saw other models online when I was looking it up. 
Um, some had uh, an 8 track player. It's pretty cool, I thought. So, yeah, we got this unplugged. Now we can dig into that. But, uh, yeah, I had a feeling they kind of trashed it, but we'll get in there and we'll see if we can get up, get that cleaned out anyways. Because that's kind of nasty. Right, so to get the other wire off, I'd have to desolder there, which I'm just not in the mood for. So, what we are going to do is my wire has been heavily uh, chewed, so we'll probably just cut both of them if we have to. But yeah, we're going to try to flip this over somehow. <clears throat> I'm wondering if that isn't the problem. Here, one sec. I'm wondering if that's just not the problem. Since it is like, indeed pretty frayed. Definitely some broken connections in there. So that's definitely going to be our first fix. So I got to go find my soldering iron. Oh, all right. Got her flipped over here. Just kind of taking a look. I think it. I don't know. Looks like it's. Looks like it should be working just fine underneath here so it must be that must be what the issue is I had a bunch more seeds fall out when I tipped it over uh, so yeah I'll have to vacuum them up quick but you know what I I really do think that's our only problem so let's let's uh just I'll vacuum that up and take a look and then yeah I got my got my gears already right yeah so let's just chop this right out of there bam <laughs> drop it all over the place oh my goodness gracious great balls of fallen cell phones One of my fondest memories of this thing is one Christmas when my mother got really tanked <laughs> on wine or with my sister and yeah my sister kept slipping my mother more wine when she wasn't paying attention and they were just having a whole tons of fun. Not so much fun for me, because I've always had this, like, thing that's like, is the sooner you get to sleep, and the sooner you wake up, the sooner it's Christmas, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. I ended up staying up until about five in the morning, <laughs> because Mother was up playing records in this thing all night long. Yeah. And usually it was Leonard who got drunk, my stepfather. He wasn't usually the one who got drunk and ruined everybody's time. But instead of his mother. Oh, that's my chicken. 
I was actually... The first time I seen that Star Wars movie with with both Kirk and um, the other guy, Kirk and Picard. <laughs> on TV at like three in the morning on Christmas. Like what a strange thing to be on TV at that time. So I watched that, and it confused the crap out of me, because I never watched Star Trek much, so. Now that freaking clock's got to go off. Alright. Happy Boxgiving! Quack, quack, quack. And then it's an educated guess. <laughs> All right. So these two obviously like that. I'm feeling pretty good. So there's power flowing through. Something. So I'm going to guess there's seeds stuck under here still. So let's disconnect our power. Laughter once again giving it my patented Fonzie move there. Well, I guess it's his patented Fonzie move. I, I just couldn't see any reason for it not to be working again, so I flipped it over again. Shook it, I shook it, I shook it. And a giant piece of corn finally came out. And it moves a lot easier when I try to move it, so. Fingers crossed. We'll see how it goes. Try again in a couple minutes. I just think that's it. So if there's one thing I am, it's not an amazing solder. Um, that's for sure. That's why I missed my Michael. Michael's like my Wozniak. I'm more like the idea man. I like... I can plan it all really well, but sometimes the execution is not really my forte. Since I don't have any shrink tubing, I like to dab 
So let's find the silicone on there. Just to make me feel a little safer. Probably totally unnecessary, and it just serves to make Lanny angry in the future. But, future Lanny kind of has it coming. Alright, now I don't remember how record works, um, so this is going to be kind of dumb. kept going it's not working it's not working well, it has to be plugged in Lanny It was at this point I was starting to kind of give up and I decided to try the other turntable we had there, but it didn't have a needle. So I quickly got a hold of our local music shop, Martha's Music, and they informed me that that needle was discontinued and that they did not have a compatible needle. So I took a couple days break thinking about it and watching some videos online trying to learn what the heck that plug's name was and I was just watching a tech moan video and he happened to be working on something I can't even remember what the video was and he said dim plug so I could look up what the cable was and that helped a lot and as you'll see <laughs> coming up here right so as you can see our little mouse friend has moved back even Apparently, though, Troy the cat did catch him. Uh, mother was saying that he, he caught it and she had to open the door so he took it outside. <laughs> so, hopefully we got them all now. But yeah, so we're going to clean that up and then we'll be back. Come on. Right, so I've done some looking into this Phonosonic Cornet Stereo and it seems like they're not really all that worth saving. Um, and like it's pretty, it's pretty messed up in there. Yep. So I am thinking what we will do is because it's got that strange um, dim plug they call it. Uh, we don't really use these too much around here so they're kind of hard to come by. And I could order an RCA to dim converter but 
That takes like time and effort, money and stuff. <clears throat> so I think what we're going to do is we're going to convert this to RCA. Or Phono, whatever you want to call it. RCA made it, they can call it whatever they want. So yeah, um, from what I can tell, it's um, it's a little lower amperage than uh, standard RCA. It's only like 30 millivolts or something. So it won't be like a super powerful connection or anything, but that's okay. That's what amps are for. Um, so yeah. Uh, I previously was soldering this cable, and I did not notice that it is a cable instead of a cable. So, yeah, that's embarrassing. But, yeah. At least telling you. Maybe say I'll notice. Boy, that was dumb. But, yeah. So, I'm just going to attach these to these. And we're going to see what happens. Um, I was figuring out what this is for. And it seems... What that is, is, is I think it's power cables for what used to be... You could have an 8-track right there. Which, let's be honest, would have been pretty sweet. But we don't have that capability. So, yeah, we're going to do that. And then we're going to... Putter kitty, putter kitty, 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 and then yeah. So I figure we'll end up because like I can only find one video of this gym gentleman fixing one of these, and it's not the one I have even. And a lot of people are saying that they're just not worth it. Um, from what I can find on the forums and stuff. Uh, so I think we'll try ripping it out one day. But I want to get this converted to something we can use in the modern day anyways. So we'll get this hooked up with RCA. And we'll see how that goes. Sorry, I'm using... No. We got a lead base solder so you don't have to bear with the fan noise. I also got my flux. Which is also slightly toxic, so. Quitnya. Oh, I love you, man. Oh, the river, by the sea. Ooh. Doesn't we have as much dancing to cheat? Oh, yeah. Toxic love. I still can't believe that it was Tim Curry in that movie. Fern Gully as that evil sludge monster. Blew my mind. It's like, no wonder I hate Tim Curry. No, I love Tim Curry, but no wonder he scares me so much, you know? is it and that thing from Fern Gully that frightened the heck out of me. It's all Fern Gully's fault I turned into such a a pansy liberal.
dancing cheek to cheek. Oh, I'm too shaky. All right. One water gun. Fail wire gun. There we can see that. Oh, eighty. All right. So our uh, it was one lousy applicant after another, and then over in Kalani, so many years ago. Such a voice. Who is that? Me mother sang this song to me in tones so soft and... Uh, Barney. Barney! Just a little Irish ditty. Barney, how'd you like to sing for our group? Sure, why not? Now where's me toothpick? Tora Laura Laura, Tora Laura la. Almost. So I was able to use a connection to hook it up to the computer, but it wasn't as good as it could be. And I think that's because I'm not amplifying it or grounding it. So what I have come, and I went to go buy a, a jack because that amplifier only has one of these big holes for a jack, but I went to go buy one of those at the source, basically Canada's Radio Shack. 
I mean, wanted like 20 bucks for one of these uh, converters, so. Mother has this old karaoke. And she bought it used. And one of the mics doesn't work. And upon taking it apart just now, I know what the problem is, obviously. <clears throat> you can tell. So, I was going to steal that jack. But now I'm wondering if I should. So... Uh, 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 uh. So, whatever, we'll, we'll steal it for now. We'll just have to cut it right, and then eventually we can give it back to Mother. It's actually a pretty nice little karaoke. It's got a, like, a little old CRT. Right. So we took both of the white wires and put them together and we had to take the two remaining wires, um, the mic had three wires and the headphone only had two. So I had to combine those two and it seemed, and uh, yeah. So I'm testing it through the stereo right now as I got it going through the amplifier and then it's coming up through the badger and into here to where we can test it and as you can hear it's got a good old feedback noise. Like some fairy song in your eyes, we go brightness. 